Test check one, two, three, four. Three. So before joining the academy, uh, they did mention, they did use the word loosely once in a lifetime, but it actually is uh, being there. Uh, working in the pinnacle of automotive in Formula One and working in one of the uh, biggest manufacturers uh, of automotive vehicles, um, Infinity Nissan, uh, is quite life changing. Uh, being able to work with some of the best engineers uh, in the business and it's, um, we're basically like a sponge, uh, just soaking in all the information. Um, they do not give us like training wheels where um, we're supposed to uh, work on a small project. It's actually we get implemented into the workflow, uh, so we have to deliver. Uh, it's a steep learning curve, but that makes us like gain uh, a lot of uh, knowledge professionally. Uh, I also got to develop my uh, personal skills, uh, where I got to live with uh, six other very talented engineers, uh, all from different parts of the world. So it was quite interesting learning culturally how they all live and uh, just sharing uh, different experiences, uh, the cuisines. Uh. So yeah, overall, I think I developed a lot personally and professionally uh, during my year in the UK. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, I think the the selection process of the academy filters out people who would quit. Uh, you always have to be competitive and uh, really ambitious and motivated. Uh, and obviously, if if you're struggling, you just keep trying harder. And uh, uh, those are the kind of candidates the uh, academy is uh, looking for. So, if I do face obstacles, it just uh, kind of forces me to work harder for it. Uh, so no, at no point did I feel like I want to quit. No, I got to sit in one, uh, but no, I, I haven't driven. Oh, you need a whole team of engineers just to get it started up and uh, moving. Uh, but no, uh, I would like to, I would like to, but not yet. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite circuits is Suzuka. Um, uh, that's nice. And uh, I also got to see the Silverstone race uh, when I was in the UK. Uh, so that was quite interesting to watch, uh, but yeah, uh, but my favorite race is Suzuka race, yeah. The most difficult, obviously Monaco uh, is quite technical, especially uh, uh, this year with uh, the wider, wider, wider cars, it's very hard to overtake and it's quite narrow and the barriers are quite high, uh, so I think that's one of the more difficult tracks driver-wise, yeah. I think the essence of the program is just to uh, introduce the students into the industry. So I'm not sure if two years would be like I felt I didn't feel like one year was like too short, uh, just because some of us actually have to get back into uh, uh, finishing a degree. So they do uh, uh, select undergrad students and graduate students. So taking a two years gap year wouldn't really uh, you know make sense. So I think one year is a good time to actually learn and develop your professional skills. I'd say. I would say just uh, keep an open mind, uh, take it all in. Uh, there's just so much to learn. Uh, obviously, like you said, when you face dif uh, difficulties, don't quit. Uh, just work harder, and yeah, just the, the rewards uh, that you you know gain from this, it's just uh, you know unparalleled. I, I would say. Uh, a perception of uh, people from um, outside Formula One is, oh, it's very hard to get into. It, it is, but once you're in, you're in. Like uh, I think Bob uh, mentioned earlier that it's hard to get out of Formula One than get into it. Uh, but if you keep trying and you're persistent about it, you can actually get into Formula One or any of the uh, OEMs uh, uh, that are out there. Uh, so you just keep trying. Uh, if you have a goal to get into automotive uh, or uh, motorsports, uh, just keep pushing for it and, and you'll get there.